Hello everyone. Welcome to this webinar by Merck Training and Consulting. I'm Hani from Dubai. It's Thursday, 11-11-2020. Amazing day. We have a very nice crowd today, around 108 participants from 10 different countries. I truly thank every one of you for investing time and energy to participate in this webinar. You will all receive this presentation after the webinar. You should have received a handout. Please keep it handy. Open it if you haven't printed yet. This handout is PDF fillable, so you can type and write on it using your laptop. Please try to log in through a laptop. And remember, during this webinar, you are all muted at all times. So please do write your valuable comments and the questions in the chat pod or chat box. It's on the bottom right side of your screen. I'm enjoying your lovely comments. I can see people logging from different places. And uh, let me introduce my props just before getting started. So that's my first prop. In case there is a nasty comment, you get this. That's my second prop. In case you have a nice comment, you see this, because that's a microphone, and we appreciate all comments and questions. And during some activities, we are typing, timing these exercises. So if you have two to three minutes, for example, and you hear this voice, it means that time is up. Moreover, I would like to announce great news. Today, we are giving some gifts to lucky winners and to one of you who will, winning, who will be winning a competition in a bit. We have nice books to give away. We have nice eBooks to give away. We have some coaching sessions. So please stay focused. Try to avoid multitasking. I know it's hard. I, I, I do participate in webinars, and I know it's hard. Just try to focus and enjoy. So this webinar will last for around one hour. Let's get started immediately. So just a quick word about me. My name is Hani Ramadan. I'm Lebanese from Beirut. On a personal level, I like to introduce myself as one, two, three. So I have one passion in life. And I'm so lucky because my passion is delivering and facilitating training. It used to be in the classroom before COVID-19, and now we're doing it virtually. As for number two in my introduction, I have two hobbies, exercising and acting. As for number three, I have three kids, they will try to join in the last minute of this webinar. Very quickly about my background. So I'm a certified coach from ICF. I hold a, an ACC degree since 2008. I have an MBA degree from the Lebanese American University in my home country, Lebanon. And I hold a level five CIPD diploma in human resources management from UK. These are the five companies that I had uh, that I was lucky to work for, Intercontinental Hotels Group, Averda, Averda Waste Management Company, Shalhoub, and Azadeya, two big retailers in the region. But most importantly, I'm today a management consultant at Merck, and I truly enjoy every single moment in training. So let's get, let's, let's know a bit about your background. So I'm going to launch a short survey, three questions only. I ask you to be honest and accurate. So three questions only. You're going to see in a moment, look at your screen, you will see in a moment a box with the three questions. If you don't see the third question, scroll down. So please remember to scroll down, answer the three questions. I'm going to launch the survey right now. Here you go. 
So please answer these three questions and I will show you the results in a minute. Go. Yeah, yeah, I start getting your responses. Thank you so much for the honesty. Go on. I will share the results in a few seconds. So giving you 20 more seconds to answer, please do. Please remember, you are muted at all times. So if you do have any comment or any question, write it down. Today, we have another great expert from Merck, my colleague Rabia Rizli, who's joining. He will be happy to answer your questions at, as well at the end of this webinar. So please do write any question that you have in the chat box. If you need any technical assistance, my colleague Maruf is there to help you as well. All right, let's look at the results. So I'm going to end the voting. It's okay. It's okay. Even if you haven't finished yet, let's see the results. All right, so we do have, for the first question, information about yourself. Scroll down if you cannot see the results because I'm sharing them right now. Information about yourself. So 35% of you are already experienced trainers. That's the majority. And that's a privilege. I'm really honored today to spend this time with 35% experienced trainers. 19% new trainers, 29% maybe are planning to become trainers or deliver from time to time. Classroom, face-to-face -face training, 31% <laughs> of you are saying will be replaced by virtual training. 25% said it will come back in 2021, and only 19% said it will come back in 2020. And the last question, by the way, this is an international benchmark as per the American Society of Talent Development, ATD.org, the website. Your total training budget for the outsource training, direct expenditure, excluding the indirect expenses, as a benchmark to know if you are spending less or more than other companies in the region, should be 3.5% of the total annual basic salaries or 2% of the total company revenue. By the way, one and two are both benchmarks. So thank you so much for participating. Let's go back to our agenda and see what we are covering today. So three main topics, introduction, some general information about this new world because of COVID-19, the training, the virtual training. Then we're gonna discuss some tips and techniques on how to design virtual training, instructional design, content development, and then we explore together some proven and tested tips and techniques on how to be a great facilitator or trainer, or I have seen some uh, school instructors joining today as well, so you can all benefit from this. Moving on, I want you please to pick up your mobile or any other device. So please do pick up a, mob a device different than the device you're using right now because we're going to play a game. It's called Kahoot. So I'm sure some of you know about it. So please pick up your mobile. Pick up your mobile. Log in using any internet browser, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, to kahoot.it. And you have to do two things. Insert your game pin and insert your full name. Please do make sure to type that you type your full name because there will be a winner at the end. So Kahoot, the purpose of this game, we do have six questions only. Simple ones, we are discussing few topics just to try to answer even if you don't have time. But to win, you have to answer correctly. If you answer this question correctly and you have to be fast because being fast Will, get, will give you more points after each, each question. So 
please pick up your mobile or any other device log into kahoot.it i will share i will share with you the game pen please make sure to insert the game pen and your full name here we go so you should see now on your screen You should see now on your screen a game pin, a six digit game pin. So log into www.kahoot.it, insert this game pin, your full name. We're gonna start this competition in a few seconds. Remember, we will be having a winner at the end. This winner will get a valuable gift from Merck Training and Consulting. Very nice, lovely. We have so far 35 players, 36. So I'll wait five more seconds. If you just joined, please pick up your mobile, insert this website and the game pen, and then your name. We're gonna play a little game. Six questions in total. Remember, correct answers and speed count. Let's get started with the first question. Merck was founded in which year? When was Merck founded? Pastor, seven more seconds. Oh, 11 correct answers. And let's see who were the fastest, the top five so far. Oh, Rabia, Fauzi, Dali, Rami Hakim, and Rida. Apparently, some of these are my colleagues. And this is unfair, I know. But let's move to the second question. True facts about Hani Ramadan. True, fact, uh, true facts about me. Just try to guess, in the introduction I mentioned one of them, or two. Faster, eight seconds. Sixteen correct answers. That's amazing. Oh, the ranking is changing. See, some people are going up. And some people are going down in the list. Next, third question. This webinar is effective for? That's an easy one. Wow, some of you were really fast in their answers. Faster, three more seconds. Last the chance. Wow, look at this. But who was the fastest or who were the fastest five people? Fauzi, Dali, Zena, Rabi, and Ra'id. Let's move on. Question four of six. The classroom face-to-face -face training is... This is a bit tricky. Faster, seven seconds. Oh, but I know, I know. This is a tricky and my bad. I truly appreciate all the answers, 10 correct answers. Look at the new ranking, it's moving. Now Raed and Jed are in the fourth and fifth place. Question number five, the leading platform as per 2020 market share in the world. These are technological leading platforms. <coughs> Pastor, three seconds. 
Nice. You're getting better. You're getting it. 27 answers. Look at the new ranking. Rabia is leading. Ra'id is second. Rami third. Fawzi fourth. And Aisha fifth. Now, I will ask my colleagues, I kindly ask my colleagues not to answer the last question, just to give a chance to others to win the valuable gift. All right? So, Merck, colleagues, please skip the last one. Last question. The needed productivity to prepare an hour or virtual training is around. This is as per international LND standards. So imagine this hour webinar. How long does it usually take to prepare as per international standards? Faster, two seconds. Oh, very good. Well done. I'm so proud of you. The majority is getting it correct. So, ladies and gentlemen, 14 of you said it right. 10 to 15 hours to prepare just one hour of virtual training. And let's announce the top three, the three winners in three places. Place number three goes to... Four out of six, Ra'id. Well done. Second place goes to Rabia. And the first place goes to Delhi. Wonderful. Well done, Delhi. Delhi, you are our winner. Delhi, stay in touch with us after this webinar to redeem your valuable gift. So, Let's look at Delhi's gift. What did Delhi win? Delhi, congratulations. Well done, everyone. I truly really appreciate your participation. Delhi, please write your full name in the chat box. Just write your full name in the chat box. You, you, we do have your email address. We're going to be in touch afterwards. And your gift is a one hour Zoom coaching. One hour of coaching on how to become a better virtual trainer. During this coaching hour, you will get valuable tools, techniques, and ways on how to become a better trainer. So moving on to our introduction, and this a new, actually it's not a new word, but it's becoming more famous, the online learning. We do have something called self-paced which is the traditional e-learning, some pre-recorded videos. It's not live. There is no live interaction between the trainer and the learners. And we do have the second part, which is live, like what we're doing now. Under the live or synchronous online learning, we do have three types, webcast, webinar, and virtual training. What's the difference between the three? Try to guess. So what you, what I want you please to do, look at the bottom of your screen. You will probably find an annotation at the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't find it just in the chat box, write down the chat box, the number one, two, or three. So is it one webcast? Is it two webinar or virtual training? The number that represents the answer to my question. Here we go. So, one, two, and three webcast webinar virtual training are different based on the number of learners, level of interaction, information attached. Question number one: Which one has the highest, the highest number of learners usually? Is it one webcast, two webinar, three virtual training? Go ahead. My colleagues, Rabia and Maruf, if you can unlock the annotate, which is the collaborate button. I'm doing this, but it's not unlocking. If you can do it from your side, it's fine. Otherwise, we're seeing lovely answers in the chat box. All right, so usually you, you, get, you got it. Some of you got it. Webcast usually has the highest number of learners then webinar, then the virtual training. We usually we go for virtual training between 10 
and the 20 participants. Webcast, it can go up to 500 if your platform allows. Webinar, usually between 20 and 100. Today, I guess we had 108 registrants. Second question, again, please type that's text chat with me. Which one has the highest level of interaction? <coughs> so which one of the three? Is it one, two, or three has the highest level of interaction? Absolutely, it's number three, virtual training. Because as you see today, you cannot open your videos, your cameras. You cannot unmute yourselves. The number is large. It's different. Last question, which one has the highest information retention? So retaining information, retaining the acquired knowledge and the skills during this online experience. Exactly, it is the virtual training. So ladies and gentlemen, let's explore together some tips and techniques about the virtual training. Here we go. A quick difference between the two. Virtual training is usually shorter in duration than the classroom face-to-face. -face. There's no location limitation. Look at us today. I was checking the Google map from where you're joining. We have more than 10 countries today. We cannot do this in the classroom. So, and the duration is usually shorter. Here we're talking about micro learning. The cost is lower because you don't have to pay for travel or food and beverage or fancy buffets, etc. Classroom, however, the, we're talking here about the pros, the advantages of each one. The classroom has a stronger human element. Guess why? Because the five senses are engaged, unlike the virtual training. Okay, you can see me now. I know that you can hear me, but the classroom is different. Expansion learning games can be conducted, such as MTA, if you know it, Lego series play. We used to use these physical experiential learning games, these physical stuff. This cannot be done in the virtual. And usually, generally speaking, in the classroom, there is more concentration. We just saw a question about the leading platform that was Zoom. So this is the ranking of the top five platforms as per 2020 market share. That's a new statistic. At Merck, at Merck Training and Consulting, we do use the highlighted ones in bold. So we do use, we do, we use Zoom, WebEx, and Click Meeting. By the way, this webinar is conducted through Click Meeting. So this platform is Click Meeting. But all of our virtual training are conducted through Zoom or WebEx. Just a statistic for you if you haven't decided which platform to use yet. Technical setup. You cannot see my setup right now because obviously the camera is on me. But you should have always a second laptop. It's there. My second laptop is there. You should have wireless, of course, keyboard and mouse and a microphone and my colleague Rabia Rizzi is today's producer. So what is a producer? A producer is a second person who is familiar with the content, who can support the main facilitator. So Rabia is supporting Hani today. He can answer in the chat box because as you see, I'm standing up, focusing on you, trying to focus on the content and the facilitation. So someone else can take over the questions and other things. All right, let's do now a game. That's a competition. It's called Merck Rally. So we do have four cars competing. Each car has a color. So in a moment, once I show you the four cars, please pick up in your mind. Just keep it for you. You don't, you don't have to write it in the chat box. Choose a color. So choose a car or a team based on preferred, your preferred color. Then we're going to see five questions. If you know the answer in the chat box, write down the color of the car slash or dash your answer. Again, let me repeat. In a moment, we're going to play this game. It's called Merc Rally. Four competing teams. But due to the large number today, remember, this is a webinar. It's not a virtual training. Webinars 
we have more learners, shorter in time, less engagement and interaction. What I want from you, mentally choose a color. We don't have to know which color you have chosen. And then I'm going to display five questions. Please do write in the chat box. If you know the answer, you have to be fast. My colleague Rabia will be tracking the number of points for each team, and then he will announce in the chat box at the end the winner. So write down, if you know the answer, try to be fast. The first person to write in the chat box after the question, the color of the team and the, followed by the answer will get a point. All right, but pay attention. If your answer is incorrect, you get minus and your car goes backward. You're gonna see your car going moving forward or backward. All right, let's do that. Merck Rally. Welcome to Merck Rally. So please remember to choose in a moment, you're gonna see. Let me open it. I think you cannot see it right now. Just one second. It's OK. That's a small technical problem that I'm facing right now. Uh, my colleague, Maruf or Rabia, will try to solve it out. So. My screen is a freezing, see? And this is why we're happy to face similar technical problems. My screen just froze. So uh, I could continue from the other laptop. That's absolutely fine. But I think we need to skip this game. It's OK. There are other games. So let's move on. Just one second. So my colleague uh, Maruf or Rabi will make me uh, a presenter on the second laptop in a moment. Just bear with me a few seconds. Meanwhile, I ask you to pick up the handout that we sent to you. If you have printed it, that's amazing. If not, please pick up this handout and try to read the first few pages, all right? If you have
All right. I'm here. I'm back. All right. So sorry for this small technical problem. But see, things happen. And that's a great learning experience for all of us, how to adapt quickly. So what I did, I just moved to the second laptop. I'm going to skip this Merck rally. So let's move on and tackle the design part. Let's do this little game. Pick up your handout, whether you have printed it or e-handout. It's OK. Remember, this handout is fillable. Try to guess number one. So determine your. This is a five-step process when designing training. What is the first step? What's the missing word in your opinion? It's OK, Elias, if you don't have a handout, my colleague Rabia will insert it in the chat box in a moment that you can download it. So first step when designing, instructional design, content development, determine your text it chat with me, your answer if you know it. Try to guess it. So please text it, text it chat with me. You're very close, objective, audience. Objective, audience, all right. Actually, you were very close. Why are you conducting this virtual training? What's your purpose? Number two, try to guess. List what? Goals, KPIs. Actually, that's number three. Number two is list ASA. Although it's in green, like the flag of Saudi Arabia, like the color of the flags of Saudi Arabia. List, it's not kingdom of Saudi Arabia. List the knowledge, skills, and attitude that you want your learners to get at the end of the training. Number three, some of you got it. So write your learning objectives. What is number four? Yeah, thank you for trying to guess. So some of you are chatting. Please text a chat with us your guesses. Number four, prepare two important things. Activities and material. And number five is, I'm not exaggerating, ladies and gentlemen, number five is the most important one. 7024 is a rule as per the international standards. In the classroom, this is 702010. So let me tell you what is this. And please do uh, write in the chat box your feedback. So if you have a full day training, half day, two hours, virtual training, you should give a physical break every 70 minutes. That's our standard at Merck as well. You should give a mental break every 20 minutes. By the way, although I just had, had a technical issue, but I just gave you a mental break. I stopped for two minutes. I was just moving my second laptop. I asked you to have a look on the handout. I wanted you to, di to digest some of the acquired knowledge so far. So remember, every 20 minutes, you can pause, you can speak slowly, or you can have a silent moment like I did, one, two minutes, people need to digest. And we need, your learners need to get the information into their memory. Last one, and this is very tough. I highly encourage you to try this if you're not doing so yet. Every four minutes, you have to involve, you have to engage every four minutes. Now, remember, today you're not getting the full experience of virtual training because it's almost one way. So how to involve, how to engage every four minutes? At the end of the webinar, in a few minutes, we'll give you 34 ways. 34 ways of putting variety in your virtual training. But this is so important. Otherwise, your learners will be multitasking, distracted, not focused, and information retention will be less. CPR. So if you have taken any first aid course previously in your life, CPR is basically done for people to survive. If you want your participants to survive, please remember to take into consideration C from CPR for content. Guys, Fox, less is more in virtual. 
you cannot include the same amount of information and content as in classroom. So please do include the need to know information only, the essentials. B, participation. We just talked about the 70-24. Remember, 70, physical break, 20, mental break, every four minutes, engage in a way or another. And the R for the review activity at the end of each session. In order to transform the acquired knowledge from their short-term memory to their long-term memory. So CPR is very essential over here. Another thing when designing your training is core. I love this core. Everyone loves to have, like, likes to have nice abs, abdominal exercises, like you can see in this picture. But here we're talking about core for training professionals like you. In every training session, you have to have an opener, an icebreaker. What was my opener today? Please write, text a chat with me. What was my opener today in this webinar? Text a chat with me. What do you think is considered as my opener? Absolutely, Kahoot. And then include an energizer, especially after breaks, if you do have a long virtual training. Revisitors, consolidation activities, recaps, wrap-ups. That's the R, so important because we need to transform the acquired knowledge and skills from our short-term to long-term memory. Finally, the C, the closer. Of course, I'm going to close in a creative way this webinar just to give you a flavor of how we can close our virtual training and webinars. And I'm sure you are experienced. Most of you are experienced, as we've seen in the survey of Paul at the beginning, and you have plenty of ideas. Now, you all have, by now, you should all have the handout, whether printed or e-handout. This is an example of a semi-structured handout that you could distribute to your learners or participants. I like the semi-structured because when your participants are writing down, taking notes, it, help, it helps them retain information. Virtual training delivery. So that's your mental break now because it's almost 40 minutes since the beginning. Self-explanatory, 11 tips to deliver great virtual training. What I want from you, text a chat with me. Please text a chat with us. Which one, the number of your weakness or area that need development as an existing current trainer or a future trainer? So text a chat with us. The number of the tip that you need to improve or develop in your next virtual training. Do it. Just the number. So 11 tips, very important ones, self-explanatory. Thank you, Christina, communication skills. Hamidullah, number four. Sanjita, number one. And please excuse me if I'm pronouncing your names incorrectly. Five and 10, Ali, three and four. Ahmed, number 10. Agila, 11. Noura, wow, that's very fast. I can't follow anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, Folks, guys, these are 11 tips that are tested by myself and many other Merck colleagues. They are so powerful. Please try to use them to be a better facilitator. For the room layout, look now, look at me, look, look at my, uh, look at uh, me. I can move backward one meter, forward one meter, to the right, to the left. So please keep some space around you. Clear and dark background. That's my bedroom curtain behind me. If your wall is white, we don't advise having your wall, your white wall as background. Dark backgrounds are always better for better visibility. Glass of water or bottle of water. Moving on. Posture and camera position. Of course, as I said, you cannot see my layout, but my laptop is on a high table. The camera is just below my eye level. I'm standing up. Ladies and gentlemen, standing up is so important to try it, trust me, because it gives you more energy. 
your tone of voice will be much better and your body language and facial expressions look more exciting. Try to look at the camera, not the slides, not your learners, pictures, videos, just to try it. It makes a difference. And exaggerate facial expressions like I'm doing now to put the human element back, which is lost somehow in the virtual training. Tone of voice, try not to be monotone. These are very similar to the classroom, but exaggerate as well your volume. Slow down from time to time, slowing down is important. Use pauses for your learners to digest. All right, let's do this game. Pick up your handout. You do have in your handout a word bank. So these seven words, the seven missing words, you do have them in your handout page nine. So handout page nine, it's written anyway on the slide. Let's do this game. Number one, what do you think is the answer? What's the missing word? Please such a text a chat with us. Hamadullah, well done, you've got it. Weak training material. These are the most common seven mistakes when facilitating virtual training. Number two, text the chat with us. What do you think is the missing word? Lecture, speak, lecture. You've got it, lecture only. And I know some of you are laughing and reflecting on a training that you have attended in the past when the trainer was lecturing all the time. Number three, no activities. Try to guess number four. Please text a chat. What is number four? Not enough? Space? Activities is number three. Time from Ali. Zena said involvement. Wow, that's so fast. I cannot follow you. No enough preparations. Of course, we all know that if you fail to prepare, then you are preparing to fail. Number five, no handout. As you have seen, I have shared a handout. Whether semi-structured or fully structured, even if it's only one page, please do share the most important things that you want your participants to retain. Too much content and underusing the platform tools. If you're using Zoom, WebEx, go to webinar, go to training, click meeting, please do familiarize yourself with this a lot and practice as much as you can. Thank you so much for guessing these. Yeah, thank you, Ali. That's a great tip. Keep it simple and smart, or keep it simple and short, or keep it simple and stupid. Simplicity is very important. Now time to reflect. I'll give you two minutes, all right? So two minutes to look at your handout page 10 and 11. We have put to you. 34 ways to add variety into your virtual training. Remember, you have to engage them every four minutes. So please do look at your handout on page 10 and 11 and reflect on an important thing. Which ones did Hani use so far? So which ones did Hani use so far? Just mark them in your handout or mentally, which one did Hani use so far in this webinar? Go, you've got two minutes. One more minute. So which ones did Hani use so far? Last a few seconds.
Mentimeter is another lovely tool, by the way. Similar to Kahoot, you could use it when presenting, inserting questions, tests, surveys, polls. Lovely, lovely. So, exactly. So, Hani, during the past 40 minutes, has already applied most of these 34 ways. Remember, this is a webinar. It's not virtual training. So, you're getting a flavor, a taste of the real experience that we do at Merck during virtual training. Because in virtual training, we have less number of participants, higher engagement, and more activities. All right, thank you so much for your lovely comments. Let's move on now to a closing competition. By the way, these are the references for this webinar. ATD, number two, Bob Pike Group, IV cases, etc. You can have a look at these nice and important references. I remind you, you will all receive this presentation immediately after the webinar. And if you need additional support, please reach out. All right, let's do this game. Who will win the million? In this game, because we do have around 108 participants today, uh, we had 108 people registering from 10 different countries, as I said. So who will win the million today exceptionally? Because it's a webinar. It's not a small team. You are all one team. So you're all one team. Text the chat your answer to the upcoming questions. So I'm going to display a series of questions. If you know the answer, just text the chat it, and we'll move to the second one. You're all one team. Anyone can answer it, but make sure you know the answer. It's who it's based on the famous TV show Who Will Win the Million. So let me share my screen. So just write OK or yes if you can see the slide called Who Wants to Win a Million? Very good. All right. So let's start. Question number one. The fifth step, the fifth step in the virtual training design process is, please text the chat with me, yes or okay. Oh, okay, I can see the answers. B, flow course. Flow course your training, your virtual training into 7024. Very good, let's see. Excellent. And you just got 100 pounds, euro, or dollars. Saudi Riyal, Emirati is not a big amount. So let's stick to the pound or euro. Question number two. The 200 euros question. In training design, the letter S in KSA stands for what? Wow, wonderful answers. Skills. Correct answer. So you're now on 200 euros. Stay focused. Question number three, CPR represents? Is it A, is it B, is it C, is it D? Is it a cure? I hope it's D, cure for COVID-19. Excellent, amazing team. You just won the last one. Oh, oh, I can hear the sound from the director of the program telling me time is up. So time is up. I apologize. We're going to continue this game, maybe in future webinars. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to answer your lovely questions. In your handout on page 13, 1 3, you do have a personal action plan. Please spend today a few minutes to reflect and write down 
some key takeaways. Just one tiny action. What did you like most? What did you learn today? What will you apply in your next virtual training, teaching if you are an instructor or teacher in a school? Just one tiny action will make a big investment. Don't leave, we're not done yet. We have some giveaways. So I'm waiting for the answer, for the questions, for your lovely questions, and we'll try to pick up a few of them, all, all of them if time allows. Meanwhile, while my, Rabia, my colleague Rabia is collecting the uh, questions, please allow me to tell you that the full version of Train the Trainer is of three days. This is the link. If you wish to register in this lovely course, it is delivered by Market Training and Consulting virtually to all the trainers, new and experienced, train the virtual trainer, three days, June 29th, 30th, or 1st. Feel free to visit our website. My colleague Rabia will insert as well the link if you wish to register. What do you get in this full version? Remember core, closers, openers, revisitors, energizers. In the full version of this training, you get ready, ready templates, ready-made activities that you can use under C, O, R, or E. Of course, we're gonna explore and expand on the material. Each participant in the three-day training will do a 30-minute practice to receive feedback and coaching on what to improve and definitely a Merck certificate. All right, so before announcing the lucky winners, let's pick up some questions uh, Rabia, will you open your microphone and ask some of the questions, please? Okay, until uh, my colleague Rabia joins, let's ask, let's answer some of these. How to ensure a solid and positive end user adoption for e learning? and virtual training. And this is asked by Atidal, if I'm not mistaken. So positive, solid and positive end user adoption of e-learning. Uh, of course, you have to choose a convenient platform for you, your organization. Make sure to apply what we're discussing together. You're all lovely trainers and you'll be okay. Time is ideally a maximum of four hours a day. That's a question by someone. Uh, everyone is moving today into micro learning. So the shorter, the better, honestly speaking. The shorter, the better. It could be maximum three to four hours a day. This is what we do at Merck. So a full day training virtually should not exceed the three to four hours. Breaks, as we said, our formula, remember, 70, 24, so try to give a physical break every 70 minutes maximum. People cannot concentrate more than this. Mental break every 20 minutes and engagement every four. 7 to 24. Honey. Rabia, are you there? Yes, please. Rabia, okay, they can so hear you. Okay, great. So uh, welcome, everyone. And thank you very much for this kind of energy. It has been crazy on the chat. So that's, uh, that's really nice. And I have picked up some questions, uh, mainly regarding making sure that the involvement is kept high, the breaks. And uh, one of the interesting questions that I believe, Hani, you'd be uh, interested to answer is whether you believe that anyone could be a virtual trainer. That's an amazing question. Rabia, please feel free to join me in answering these nice questions, but we'll try to limit our answers to 20 seconds to give opportunities for everyone and the close in the remaining seven minutes. I have answered right some on the chat already, so that's the one I, I kept for you. Yeah, thank you so much, Rabia, and thank you for the person who asked this. Uh, of course, experienced and the great facilitators in the classroom are not necessarily great virtual trainers. This is why at Merck, every consultant or trainer like myself <coughs> went through 
a seven-step process. We've been trained by an international expert. We've been practicing together a lot, although the least of us has at least 15 years of facilitation experience. So it's a different game. My answer to this question, it's a different game. Rabia, pick up another one. Okay, so uh, another one was about making the involvement uh, happen in the virtual training, in practice. So some tips from your side, please. Although I would say that uh, the preparation is key, so you need to design your activities and focus on them more than you design on your slides. Because as you said, less is more when it comes to content. Yeah. So you already answered this, Rabi, and of course, an elaborated answer will be in the presentation once you receive it. Another one, Rabi. So uh, how to maintain the involvement uh, every four minutes practically? So that's, that's one very that, tough. Uh, that's very tough. Very tough for all of us. So when you are when you were designing your training, like when I designed today's webinar, I was timing. I was timing my session every four minutes, whether you noticed or not, you were involved and engaged, mainly through the chat box, because today is a webinar. I cannot see your faces. You cannot open your mics and cameras. In other uh, cases, we could use breakout rooms. You could use games, role plays a lot. Please go back to the 34 ways of putting variety that is in your handout. Let's pick up two more questions, Rabia, because we want to announce the winners, and I want to keep one minute to close this webinar. Go ahead. So uh, from collecting the questions, I'd like to uh, combine some and ask you uh, how to engage the participants that are not really willing to participate. You know, from our experience, some people don't like to open their cameras. You address them with questions, but they don't like to answer. How to maximize this kind of engagement? Excellent question. The, the best way that we have tried at Merck is to call your participants by name from time to time or have a gallery view. So open gallery view, even if they don't have open cameras, but you can see boxes, everyone who has joined as a participant. And assign to one of your participants a choosing someone else to answer a question, share a comment, or anything else. So calling by name. Last question. Um, how precious was your second laptop today? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I'm using it right now. To be honest, that's very rare, but it happened today. And I think it happened for a reason, for me to learn and to practice my contingency plan and for you to be ready in every single training. So thank you so much for these lovely questions. Thank you, Rabia. Let's announce now the lucky winners. Rabia, please keep your microphone on. The first gift is this valuable gift. Virtual Training Basics, second edition. That's a wonderful book. I have personally learned a lot from Cindy in this book. Rabia, could you please announce you have, I know that you have uh, all the names in a draw. So who's the winner, Rabia? Please uh, tell us over the microphone and write his or her name in the chat box. I can see numbers. So who's the winner? Rabi, are you there? Abraham is the winner. Abraham, well done. Congratulations. You win this valuable gift. Two more gifts. This is very valuable by Harvard Business Review. 16 books, e-books, 16 e-books from the best-selling books. Who is the winner, Rabia? Please write down the name. So the winner is coming in three, two, two. one. Mrs. Aisha, Aisha Zaabi. Oh, Aisha Zaabi. So please reach out. We do have your names and your email addresses. We will be in touch with you. Congratulations, Aisha. 
The last gift goes to, and this gift is an hour Zoom coaching or face-to-face -face if you are based in Dubai, but probably Zoom coaching by myself. One hour Zoom coaching in addition to this valuable book. All right, the visual communications book. Who's the winner, Rabia? So the winner and is the winner. coming in to one, Mr. Rami Busbet. All right, congratulations, Rami. Congratulations. Now, finally, please allow me to close this webinar in 60 seconds, and then we'll be done for today. So look at your screen, please. By the end of this webinar, I would like to tell you, although we had around 100 people from 10 different countries, but I felt like number one over here, one spirit, I truly felt that you all belong to one spirit or one company. This is probably because most of you are trainers. Please remember two important skills or categories that we discussed today, content development and facilitation, instructional design and delivery. So design and delivery. And remember the formula, three things in the formula, like number three over here, 70, 24, Break, physical break every 70 minutes. Mental break every 20 minutes and engagement involvement every four minutes. Finally, remember core. Core had four things in it. CRO, closers, openers, visitors, revisitors, and energizers. Use this. And as number one here, please allow me by the end of this webinar to thank one person, just one person, because of this person, we enjoyed this webinar. That is you. Thank you so much for investing time. Now, my lovely family will say goodbye and thank you. So thank you so much. Please stay tuned and stay in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.